Good day to all of you who have thought a little about uh, improving yourself on uh, learning new things, especially this course is related to people who work in electronic equipment design. Now, sir, if you follow my PowerPoint, generally the title is about mechanical issues in electronics equipment design and prototyping. The issue there being equipment design projects undertaken do not get the attention of non electrical and issues at concept stage. So, let me elaborate on that thing non electrical could be how to produce it and uh, once you integrate these items the electrical items like EMI, EMC and uh, such things there is some familiarity with it, but however very rarely non electrical like how do you make an enclosure and then uh, how do you produce it in large numbers is still not known that well. So, if you see the the background uh, slide there, you will notice that design and prototyping has progressed extremely well with electronic design automation, which relates specifically to the core functional issue. Typically, the functional issue is how well a project works. So, if I have to take this mobile phone it is a wonder. Why it is a wonder is that depending on the complexity of it, 4 to 5 different radios are working with it. There are antennas, there are everything works with it and all of them have been solved in a miraculous way. It is not by trial and error. Somebody has worked hard at it and then I am not an expert in it because if you see the running feud between the two grids in uh, this uh, mobile phone space, you know that a uh, lot of activity goes on both under design as if you know how to implement things that is existing things which are synthesized together which is one type of design. Another is the analytical part of it saying analytical could not just necessary equations. However, things like saying how does this form affect our usability? What are the ergonomics considerations for it? And then aesthetically what makes what looked once upon a time like a simple box to something else? Not long ago only about uh, 10 years back phones were phones were picked partly by how well all the keys were arranged and all that. Suddenly you will notice that technology has taken over because all of that things are programmable and something which none of us have thought of was the concept of making apps for anything you want. Equipment design issues at concept stage beyond PWD and interconnection is what uh, we try to think about it and implementation at production stage. While one piece can always be manufactured and then if the original designer or the team or people trained by the team to other people, younger people can go about reproducing it. So much so that uh, then go to the internet and then search for uh, things which are free. I think all of you must be familiar with uh, the what do you call beagle bone. We have a beagle board and then a beagle bone and then a beautiful enclosure for it. If you can acknowledge uh, the original designer for it, it is all available for us to use it as it is. So, the issue there being if you see here we have this implementation at the production stage. How do you reproduce things to the necessary quality? Then secondly the last two things you know seem to make. You see here what is the customer's wants and needs. There is nothing about uh, saying you no know, crossing the chasm or uh, 
built in obsolescence or you know build uh, different versions and all that. It is just that expectations keep changing that is probably the reason why these days anything which is programmable makes much more sense and a combination of features at a given price is what the customer is looking for. Cost can also be a feature, but these days no, it does not mean the limiting feature. However, ease of use and all that are very much there. Suddenly, the mobile phones which started with uh, saying we have uh, multi frequency and then this we have eight and all that, no, that does not seem to catch the public's attention. What seems to catch the public's attention is that it is camera and other things which it can replace easily, including a pedometer, exercise counting facility and then maybe maps and how to pay and receive cash. All these are seem to make the difference. Now, let me go to the what this course attempts to do. Course attempts to focus on such issues needed often handled by professionals in respective fields. Again, this is where I would like you to draw your attention saying you will not become an expert in replacing the other person, but you will be sensitized saying at this stage up front if you consider this you can avoid surprises and over the wall firefighting which often happens. What do you do? You finish your uh, design to the best of your uh, ability or I will say attention span, I am sure your ability is fantastic, time is not available. Then after that you just uh, pass it on to the next professional who hopefully puts it into all in place. In reality, if you go to a corporate uh, place that is not how things work, all the people seem to work together giving it names like you know concurrent design and all that is itself not fashionable anymore. You just say we all work in a team. Even you no know, thinking out of the box uh, has you know gone into the box now. So, everybody says think out of the box you know what it is you will lose interest. Things like if you see you know thermal EMI EMC analytical tools are a must without this you cannot do. I am not saying put something you know like you see, you see this box here it box has something here put it inside. If it gets hot, had a fan or blow, not true. And comes to the next important thing, there is no one way to do things. So, I cannot write a book saying how to do it. There is no book which says this is a have the you know new orange phone what you call version 6 or 7 can be made or you cannot have a banana phone and all. I think you know what I am talking about. Somebody is out there working for it and this there are surprising product successes, how come some products have become very interesting. So, one of the items you need to do is keep your eyes open, see what is happening out there in the field, what is doing what. So, the focus is uh, hopefully through, if you sit through or go through this and uh, spend time outside, what you see here will not give you a solution to any problem, it will give you one way of how people have been doing it. One of these convert if you have a circuit demo on the table, you see here I have something here. Can we convert it into a product that satisfied requirements of the user production and maintenance? It is real. The user's needs when it gets into his hand we know it is about the operation and all that, but however, user also has to use it in the right environment. So, sometimes you know things that they fall they should not break, something false should never break, it should continue. I am sure it has happened with your mobiles, your cordless phones and you if you are my age. So, this course or uh, thing got evolved at uh, the Center for Electronic Design for a long time. Probably it started uh, much before I came, uh, 75-76 and faculty involved in industrial design gave the outside shape. Then 
production facilities were built up here. Then management issues was about saying you know how to manage uh, various features and what we all hate commonly is documentation. Documentation is not user documentation saying how is it you have arrived at a decision and then in case you have a file a design file can somebody go back and see what happened when and then why we took a decision which looks uh, inappropriate but at that time which was started about you know 2 or 3 years back it made sense. Now things have changed you need not worry too much about it if you can dream a circuit you can run a mixed mode uh, you know signal analysis we know it works. Similarly, for all the enclosures we have rapid prototyping. So, if you can make a something and then you see here no full computer aided design for everything is the norm. So, if you have a circuit you can do the electrical part if I design an enclosure I can see how well it goes inside. And in fact, things like layout with a little help with the manual help automatically we can make things. So, things have become more and more convenient and uh, files which are used for as rapid prototyping can also used for CNC. Long ago when things were made in what do you call vertical integration of uh, corporates there was no choice because they had to do it that is the only way to make a thing. But now these days there are so many job people who are available who can make any what do you call um, 3D printed models for you similarly you can fabricate things next level is you can use these files to create mass produced items you can have them replicated in a large number wherever it is cheapest. I think we know the <laughs> uh, countries so the uh, probably this is the last slide I would like you welcome you to the course one of the first thing is it does not stop with it should not stop with what you see here I am sure it happens with uh, you know various self help books and uh, there is other things unlike that this is since it was done in a what you call educational R and D premises for every item I have shown you people have gone out and they have been somebody has demonstrated the effect for it. In the end we have had equipments which were you know put to very good uh, what you call tests and uh, a large number of them have gone to the field, but not in the form in which they were conceived. They were conceived in one form eventually somebody has worked on it. So, at this point I would like to welcome you to this uh, course and I expect it is to be useful to people who are already professionals in the field. I myself have a background which you know I have worked in a government design organization and you know what government uh, supports. And such people will benefit by looking at what the other people are doing who are not related to them. So, if you are a thermal person you can now look at what it is what causes this problem. Let us say you are a circuit designer you know that beyond that normal circuit every other item now seems to have an influence on your design. And if you are a production person you will know what compromises led to this particular design and of course, if you are a marketing person you may have your own opinion about it, but the reality is things are changing somebody has thought up a better product than what you have in your hand. So, now you know so all of the people if they work together and all that they make a better impact. So, it is open to professionals in any field. Secondly, a large number of students uh, uh, starting in, in our case no, our undergraduate students have finished 12 years of formal education and join first year of engineering slowly get experience in their field. If they expose themselves to this they can make a much better demonstrable product. 
So, I'd say welcome uh, to all of you. Kindly stay tuned, focused, and then you know that it's a video format. In case you don't understand, I understand your problem that my voice is highly accented. So, I do not know how best you can do it. Maybe you can try to you know listen again and again. Where possible, I have tried to add a few pictures and so thank you, welcome.